Trout is one of the most delicious and healthier fish at the market. You can roast, grill, or even fry them in no time, and because they're so inexpensive, you can easily use it to feed a crowd. Today I'm making two trout dishes with the fresh and smoked variety. I'm making a smoked trout guacamole and roasted trout with an herby buttery filling. When you're shopping for trout at the market, there are a few things you definitely want to look out for. First, ask your fishmonger if you can smell the trout. It's kind of funny, but it's really important that you do this. So go ahead and smell it, and it should smell slightly like a river or even like a light scent of cucumber. It should never smell fishy. That's when you know it's been sitting in the case for way too long. The second thing you want to look out for is the skin. The scales should look shiny, they should never look dull. And the last thing to look out for are the eyes. If you're buying whole trout, these eyes shouldn't be cloudy, they should look pretty clear. If all those things look good, you have fresh trout ready for cooking. Trout is actually part of the salmon family, so you'll notice that it has a lot of the similar flavors, but it's much more delicate. It's nutty, it has a mildly sweet flavor, so it doesn't need a lot of dressing up. The filling that we're making today is an herby, garlicky filling that really accents the trout's natural flavor. So once our garlic is minced, we'll put it in our mortar and pestle. I also have some red pepper flakes in there. And now let's mince some of our shallot. Now, when you're serving trout to a crowd of people, you want to estimate about one six to eight inch trout per person. It's more than enough. Now for the parsley, we just want a good handful, the little lemon, some capers for a salty, vinegary flavor. And the last thing we're putting in here is anchovy paste. We're putting just enough to bring out the flavor of the trout without overpowering it. So a couple of teaspoons is just right. Now we just need to season it. And the last thing, butter. This fish keeps pretty moist as it bakes, but Butter never hurt anybody. We'll reserve a little bit for the top before they go in. I already have four six inch trout on a baking sheet with a little bit of olive oil. So all I'll do is open these up and you can see they've got a beautiful pink flesh. So we'll just flip them open and spoon in a little bit of the mixture in each. With all of these flavors, you don't need a lot of the filling. Now when you're roasting the trout, don't remove the head and the tail. They'll keep everything really succulent. Before these guys go in the oven, we'll put a little bit of butter on top of each. When they bake at a high temperature, which is what we're doing, they'll cook really fast. And then the skin will be nice and crispy. And here we go in the oven at 450 degrees for about 10 minutes. While our trout roasts, let's make our smoked trout guacamole. So for our guacamole base, we'll use red onion, garlic, salt, pepper, some of the basics. And then we'll throw in a few ingredients that play really well with that smoked trout. Trout is so good for you because of its high amounts of omega-3 fatty acids, but it's also one of the healthiest fish out there because it's low in dioxins, which is an environmental contaminant. So now it's time to take care of our avocados. When you're shopping for ripe avocados for making guacamole, look out for two things. First, give it a nice squeeze, it should be a little soft, and then push the belly button in with your finger, and if it sinks, it should be good to go. I've got five large Haas avocados. When you're shopping around for smoked trout, you'll notice that it's a lot cheaper than smoked salmon. That's because in general, trout is a lot cheaper to produce. And the reason is because most of the trout that you purchase at the market is farmed. It's not caught from the wild. In a controlled environment, you can really regulate the trout's diet. That's important for this fish because its flavor really reflects its diet. Let's add some lime. We'll also add some fresh minced garlic, salt, pepper. Let's have at it. The reason I don't use a food processor is because I don't want mushy guacamole. I want a few chunks in there. Our guacamole base is ready and now we can add in some of the bolder flavorings. So we'll add in some roasted chilies. These are fire roasted chilies. 
And we'll add in our red onion. And finally, the star of this dish are smoked trout. And it'll still have the skin attached. You can easily peel it away. Just flake it right into the guacamole by hand. And you can keep pretty big flakes in there because as you mix it, they'll break up a little bit. There's one last thing I want to add, fresh cilantro. That adds bright flavor, bright color. And because of that lime, you don't have to worry about this guacamole getting all brown before you serve it. If you were intimidated by cooking fish before, now you know just how easy it is to do. We've made a roasted trout with an herby butter filling. You can see the skin has crisped up nicely, and I've served it with a side of potato salad. And of course, our smoked trout guacamole. Two delicious dishes filled with omega-3 fatty acids, and they won't break the bank.